It asks for a in second inversion, uh, in first inversion, sorry. So here's a in root position, right? And then here's first inversion. So last week we did the quiz of inversions, right? So that's the if I were to do all the inversions. So here's A in first inversion. And then we're supposed to go to D in root position. And back to A. Right? So that's a one for one right there. And then we have another word for one in the key of D. Here's D in root position. Going to G. Which is the movement that we've been doing for this one for one um, progression that we just talked about, right? And then we're going to go back to A in first inversion on the second line. The next measure asks for E in second inversion. That's going to look like this. E in second inversion. And back to A in first inversion. And D in root position. And A in first inversion. Let's go back to the beginning. So we have A here in first inversion. So here's A in root position. Let's take A in root position and invert it. And then from A in first inversion, we go to D in root position. And back to A. And try and do this with the right hand because your left hand is going to be playing roots, right? So eventually you're going to be doing this. Then from here we go to D in root position. G in second inversion. And D in root position. And we're going to go back to A in first inversion. E in second inversion. And we're going to play A in, in, second, in first inversion. D root position. And A in first inversion. Now we're in measure 9. And we have A again in first inversion again. A one more time. Now we're measure 11. Here's D in root position. G in second inversion. And back to D. Now measure 13. A in first inversion. E in second inversion. A first inversion. D root position. And back to A. So let's go through the whole thing now with the chunk. We're going to go really, really slow. So whenever you have a measure with two chords, it means you're going to divide it right in the middle, two, and then you're going to have two, measure, two beats for, for one chord and two beats for the other chord. One, chords on the right hand, roots on the left hand. One, two, three, four. Thirteen. 
Okay, I'll give you some time to go through that by yourself. <laughs> 